Hello everyone, this is Prashant here. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, we are in a uh, data structure series actually. So last class we saw about list. Today we are going to discuss about the set. Set also one of a uh, super duper topic in uh, Python in data structure as well. So we want to understand the basic of uh, set. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to create a file. Uh, right clicking on a project. After right clicking, I'm going to the Python file. I'm giving like uh, this is a set, right? So I'm giving a set iPhone demo some name okay so after that in this uh, uh, like first thing is set we want to understand basic of set okay uh, like set is first like unorder what does unorder means it won't store an order it will it will uh, it will keep a unorder okay next very useful thing is now no duplicate means if there is a data means it won't have the same data repeatedly okay so another thing is how it's represented that is the more important in curly braces yesterday we saw the list so list represented in the square bracket mode right square but set as curly braces that is more important so i'm going to create a one first set okay num1 i'm creating a num1 so in this num1 i'm going to storing like two or uh, Come on, seven. After that, I'm putting um eight something something something. Okay, so after that five. So I have two files. See this? I have a two file in the set. Okay. Cool then, right? So I'm going to print. So simply, if you want to print anything, I just put a uh, print statement. So this is a it's printed. Okay. So how to find the length? So previous class, if you see the video, now it should be really easy. You want to use a length method, len length method to find the length of any set list or anything. So size is five. Okay. See this? When I'm printing, only five letters is there. Totally here six. But it removed the duplicate. Which is a duplicate? Two files. But in result, it stores only one file. That is a cool thing of set. Okay. So after this methods, basic methods. So you can ask question: How can you iterate? For iterator, as usual, we need to use a for loop like for i in the num one. I'm going to print all the numbers. So I'm printing the i value. So it will iterate and it will print all the numbers. Okay. It's a cool thing, right? Okay. After that. We put in a last for this. Once, next question: How can I add another number? If it is right now, I have five numbers in the list. How can I add another number? So for that, we need to use a num one dot add method. This add method will help us to add another variable. So I'm adding a nine. Okay. After that, I'm printing the num value. So here I'm going to give a f. So I'm going to create a after adding. After adding, I'm printing the value of the number. Okay, so after that, I'm putting a arrow. So this is a this is after adding. Okay, cool, right? So after adding, nine is added to the number. Okay, <coughs> okay. Next, right now I'm able to add. How can I remove it? So for that, we need to use a num one dot remove. Method in this I'm giving three, so I'm going to print again. This is after removing. Okay, so I'm right click running. See this? It is removed the three from the set. Okay, so simple, right? All are very very simple in Python, but removing the method names are a little bit tricky. A little tricky, but when you keep on practicing it. You want fear, and when you are working on a big complex problems, this kind of shortcuts will help us. Okay, so after that removal, okay. Now come to the super duper uh, topics. Okay, next thing is question: How can I add a two? Uh, there are the two sets. Think like that. I have a num two here. Num two. So num two has some certain values, certain numbers, like a uh, three again, uh, five again, eight again. And one unique something was called two. So two is a unique. 
three five eight there already illustrated that. Okay. Okay. How can I add two numbers? That is the most important topic. So for that I'm using num one union unioning two. So num two. So I am adding two numbers like two sets. Adding sets. So I'm printing num three. Okay. So we will see what is the num three. See this adding setters. It's added both num one and num two in a single thing. So this is how we need to add two things. Okay. And here the interview question will come. So what interview question? Na? So the interviewer asking. Uh, see here, I, I have there are two sets. I want all the unique between two sets. Only matching, whatever matching between two sets I want. How can you give it? So for that, right now I'm going to see the common or matching, common matching. I'm giving the variable name. Num one, num one. Like there are so many things. Intersection, whichever intersecting. Num two. So interview like like which are matching between two, okay? I'm going to print print the statement. So what is this? It is common, right? Common. So this is a common match statements, okay? It will give only give the it will give only the match whatever matches, okay? I'm running this file. See this? Only eight and five are common. Because we removed the three from the previous steps, so obviously there is no three. Only eight and five are common between right now, number one and two. Okay, so this is the cool thing, right? This is common thing. The same entry you are asking. Hey, see here, I want the non-match numbers in the both the sets. How can you bring it? Okay, this is non-matching numbers. Okay, non-matching. So equal to num one dot systematic difference between num two. So I'm going to print this statement. This is non-common methods and non-matching. So I'm printing that statement. So we need to know the name which is the thing. See this one, two, three, seven, nine are non matching because it's not unique between two tables okay so how can i explain na you guys have studied uh, somewhere uh, the circle na so which is common between this two so like that so with another thing uh, then this is non common whatever is not matching it's non common so another thing is there is a left join or right join we studied na so right now i'm going to teach you what is uh, right join i want Only the matching characters of right side, like num one, like a right match, like num one matching. So num one, see here clearly, num one difference on num two, whatever is matched with num two. Okay, that's why. So this is the right side matches, like right, ah, uh, uh, like that, na. Uh, num one. Matches with, so which are the things is known as matched with. That's the more here important here. Okay, so if you want the left side means you will put known matched with number. See this one nine seven or unique. I mean I compare to left side. Okay, that's a cool thing, right? Okay, so next, so these are we we saw most of the things. Okay, most of the things. So we have couple of things alone. So that we will which uh, here. So there is a uh, another word called distract. Okay, so distract also similar to removal. Uh, you know, uh, this uh, distract also like remove. Both I'm I'm removing this. Uh, uh, what the it has number as five right. So I'm removing the five. Okay, removing the five. So this also will remove as usual like removal. But this will destroy it. Okay. Okay. Next thing is couple. There are couple of thing. Default thing is suppose you want to remove all the data from a set. So how can I do it? So I am putting num three dot clear. 
so clear will clear all the data from a set so removal remove one or one item each time but clear will remove everything okay and in a normal uh, this is the basic another one what is the basic uh, how to find the type of a variable so if this variable is set so how can i present how can i know that this is set so you want the type method see here the class is type see here no the class is set okay so you want to this we want to know the type of a uh, data type you want to use a type method that's more important just these are all basics but when I mean, you guys are keep on working and you will get it in a future but just understand your basic things okay so these are the cool things of set so we will meet in the next so next we are going to dictionary dictionary is also one of a cool topic of python after dictionary we are going to see the stack queue that and all common ds concept across all the programming languages after that even i am going to learn lot from this series so we are going to solve the so many problems one by one. like a daily one problem just 5 minutes i am going to spend on each problem so i like in next 20 25 days at least everyone can able to clear basic interviews in all the coding rounds okay so thanks for joining if you like the video please like and share to your friends uh, thanks for watching